Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features the brand new tier 10 Russian steel cruiser Commissar. Now the Commissar is a hybrid heavy cruiser armed with 240 millimeter guns, but very lightly armored and very, very different to the current lineup of Russian cruisers in the game. Commissar falls very much into the glass cannon category. Very light armor, very low hit points, but extremely powerful main battery guns. Now the Commissar will be available initially in 13.4 for 35,000 steel. And this includes a permanent made of steel camouflage. Now the steel coupon will not work in 13.4, but in 13.5, the price will be reduced for just the ship itself to 30,000 steel and the coupon will then be active in 13.5. So the Commissar is a hybrid cruiser with very, very powerful guns and Nakimov attack rocket aircraft. No radar, so you may use the aircraft instead of the radar for spotting pesky destroyers. Now I've included the build here that I am using. I did experiment quite a little bit between reload mod and range, but I've finally gone for range as it allows a lot more opportunities just to maneuver and stay alive from long range and this is going to be the trick to doing well in this ship positioning yourself at range picking on targets of opportunity keeping your guns and aircraft in operation as much and as long as possible while trying to negate incoming damage so just using a port screenshot here we can see the necessity of playing at long range with this ship commissar is massive and very lightly armored you can see the bow section 25 millimeters a huge stern section also of 25 millimeters the upper casemate and the deck are both 30 millimeters and the citadel armor is only covered by 115 millimeters of armor so very lightly armored indeed if we look at the ship's citadel we can see it is raised above the waterline and runs from just under the front turret to just under the rear turret. So very exposed and very lightly armoured. So range is the way to go with this ship. I was running with the range mod in this main highlight section and it's a very very nice game. I, I do encourage you to stay to the end. It shows all available facets and weaknesses of the Commissar, use of torpedoes, use of the airstrike, the Nakimov aircraft, and a very exciting finish that goes literally right down to the wire. So I hope you enjoy the game. And I think you, you I think you need to be quite proficient in in cruisers to actually do well in this ship on a consistent basis. And when you have to deal with a lot of aircraft and constant air spotting it makes maneuvering in this ship very very difficult because it's just so prone to punishment and i i i really feel it could have done with a little bit of extra hp because i, I know the whole glass con the glass cannon concept but if you get into any kind of vice in this, the, the damage you'll be taking. It's rough. This ruin, this ruin is taking an interesting line. Like that thunder there. Uh, Didi, you need to, you need to get the hell out of there. Because you're going to get hydroed and and murdered. Unless we can, unless we can kill him very quickly. I'm only using my back guns because I'm very concerned about that thunder. Okay, ruin, ruin dead. Ruin dead. I've had I've had to change I've I've gone with with range mod because seventeen point whatever it is seventeen point two kilometer range in the ship is it feels very very punishing. 
Now I played I played with both setups with reload and and range. But I think I'm leaning more and more towards the the range setup. Because it just gives it just gives you a, a little bit extra space. Scout and Leo. On. How many aircraft? They've got a Trump, a Chikuma, and a Gowden Leo over here. I don't think I want to go this direction at all. There's a million, there's a million, there's a million aircraft over here. Look at this. You're in... I'm being spammed by thunder as well, of course. Oh my god, and a Malta. <laughs> now that's... Seriously. Seriously, Wargaming. This is... This is what you want. Much obliged. The Malta, the Gowden Leo, the Chikuma and the Trump. All spamming aircraft here. <laughs> I mean, no thanks. No, 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 thank you. I'm, I'm not, I'm not staying here. This is, this is just a joke. I think we go back and take the B camp. I'm not chasing. I'm not chasing all these plane spammers. It's just stupid. Our planes will blot out the sun. Yeah, but this is this is one of the reasons I'm playing less and less and less tier ten because I mean I've got aircraft too, but wait, let me just get a call. Activate autopilot. There's a squishy, there's a squishy... You could ask yourself a question. There's a squishy bongo as well, really. Do I feel lucky? We'll go for bongo, bongo I guess. Punk! <laughs> we, oh, I'm being torped, really? Twenty twenty one K triple fire. Okay now let's 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 get the let's get the, the permas on him if we can do this. Big big hit on the bungo there. With with forty millimeters with forty millimeters of pen you're you're gonna really hurt those lightly armored battleship. Give me fires, game. Give me fires. I think he's got. I think he's got two perma fires going. I think. I think somebody else set him on fire as well. From what I can see. Did he blind fire me? I think he did. Burn, Bungo, burn. Cheeky Ephraim tried to try to blind fire me there. And hello wow Starlord, hello and welcome. The camo is off putting. The camo can actually be quite confusing. If you if you just turn off the it can be it's one of those optical kind of illusions. It it tricks it tricks your eyes. And I better walk back before. I get tricked back into port. Is that a car for us coming through the middle? Um, Haaland, you might need to, uh... I need to get out of there. Unless you've got torps ready. I'm assuming you have torps ready. 
I think our Howland is about to vanish. Hmm, we we really needed our our DD to stay alive. I guess we're, we're down, Caps. You know you're you're think you're sacrificing yourself for a. Uh, Can I turn into them for the arm? Uh, Thunder Child, if Thunder Child goes for the cap, I'll go out wide. Because there is a Salem. I'm pretty sure I'm close to a Salem here. I want to use my planes, but... myself in the last guy. The last guy uses his radar. No radar no radar last guy. He's actually implanted him. Talk about Using. Well, we've got a way with dealing with campy little bitches. I should get undetected because of the eight kilometer. I'm being torped. Fuck. And the thunder has appeared out of nowhere. That's me losing my planes. Oh. Okay, we do we do kill the Salem. Goddamn planes, man. Goddamn planes. Don't really want to like I don't want to get into a fight with it. Close range fight with it. A thunderer. I'm not gonna have much choice though, am I? Not gonna have much choice. Hello, John Surreal. Hello, how's it going? Send in the planes. I will send in the planes now. Hold on, if we down, try and get another strike off. Thing is, if I get detected here, it could just blap me. Crap! Crap, crap, crap! And he's hanging. Matches me. We shoot HE. Mm. 
Неполадки устранены. Торпеды прямо по курсу. Идем с щитцем. Идем с щитцем. Вражеский линкор потоплен. What, what, what ends is here in this camp? Торпеды справа по борту. Oh, crap. What else? What else is here? There's something else. Th there's something else there, isn't there? Our carrier is sailed off to the opposite side of the map. Trump and Emac. If I use my planes, I'm dead. I can't maneuver. So we need our carrier and our Shima to do something here. He's, he's out here. Wrong. Bloody ammo loaded. Christ. Potato. Knock him up. Just stay. Oh my god. In he attacks. He attacks. Торпеды прямо по курсу. Пять минут до конца боя. Carrier is dumb as a rock. I'm not even going to attack. Because I can't attack. Вражеский эсминец потоплен. Now, did he get torps away is the question. Торпеды прямо по курсу. I have to get back. I have to get back to the sea camp. I can't believe the, the carrier just sailed around and didn't just spot him for the cruiser. It just shows a complete and utter lack of any kind of clue whatso whatsoever. Meatbox wrapper, welcome to our domain. Gma smoked up. Panic smoke. We got two pens. Our CV has gone after the carrier. CV, you mong. Go after DD for crying out loud. You idiot. Here's where we need the carrier, and he's gone chasing him into the spawn. Good players, man. Cole Shenser. Not a goddamn clue. Connected. I was briefly just spotted there for a split second. The, the Trump is using uh, the Shima smokescreen. What's going on here? Our carrier is so bad. I mean, seriously. Like, really bad. I 
You, you really you, you just can't legislate for this level of this level of stupidity in our carrier you you just can't legislate for this And I miss complete. Uh, we lose, we, we, lo we lose because of this carrier. Unfucking believable. Пожарная тревога. Me just keep. I I hate losing games like this because it's it, it's just it's so bad. It really really is. At least we at least we kill the CV. Do we win on points? Oh my God, we win on points. We win on points, chat. We win on points. <laughs> By blapping the carrier with a couple of seconds to go. Oh my god, that carrier was so bad. That carrier was so bad. It really, really was. 